Hello beautiful people and welcome. In this video we are talking about function notation and the difference between function notation. The two that we are going to be talking about is f of 3 or f of x and f of x equals 3 or f of x equals some sort of number. Now these two are different. So when you see f of x, this is another way to write y. So this means right here, y. So this is y. I also see another f of x, so this is y. I don't see f of x here. I, what I do see is that the x number is now 3. So this is your x. So what does that mean? So if we are solving for f of 3, that means x equals 3 and solve. When you see f of x equals 3, that means that f of x is y, and that equals 3. So this means change and remove, get rid of f of x, and replace with number. So let's, let's do one at a time. So let's do this one. This is the one we did last time as well. f of 3 is equal to, copy down the equation, 3x plus 5 x is 3, so f of 3 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 5. f of 3 is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 plus 5. And 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. So f of 3 is equal to 14. So this is when x is 3, the answer is is 14. So when x is 3, the answer is 14. Now this one is a little bit different. So we have f of x equals 3. And we have f of x equals 3x plus 5. So what you're going to do is you're going to take f of x and you're going to get rid of it. Everything else gets copied. Don't change anything here. You're going to take this 3 equals, and you're going to replace it with the f of x. You're going to replace f of x with that number. So what you have is 3 equals 3x plus 5. And your objective, your goal here, is to solve for x. You need to get x by itself. So you are solving equations. I'm going to minus 5 both sides. So 3 minus 5, that equals 2 minus 2. This is 3x. Bring this down. I'm going to divide it by 3, divide it by 3. x is equal to negative 2 thirds. So this means when the answer is four, uh, excuse me, when the answer is three, x has to be negative two thirds. Moving on to our next example, we're going to look at the function evaluated at x. So f of x equals to x divided by 2 plus 5. And we're going to evaluate that for f of 10. And we're going to evaluate that for f of x equals to 10. Now again, this means that we're going to solve when x is equal to 10. 
This one means we're going to solve when y is equal to 10. Now again, y is just another way to say f of x. So f of x and y are the same thing. They just look different. Let's start with this one here. I'm going to switch colors. See if I can get another color. So that means f of 10. Oh, that pen is not working. Let's try another one. f of 10 is equal to, and anywhere you see an x, you're going to write 10. So this is your x value. We're going to then solve. Don't do anything to f of 10. f of 10 is just being copied. You don't touch that. 10 divided by 2, that's 5 plus 5. And 5 plus 5 is 10. So when x is 10, the answer is 10. Let's write that down. When x, or let's do when 10 is x, the answer is equal to 10. Now this one again is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to copy down the equation f of x is equal to x divided by 2 plus 5. And I'm going to take this f of x, all of it, and I'm going to make that equal to 10. So when the equation is equal to 10, we want to solve for x. So I'm going to do a dotted line. I'm going to minus 5 minus 5. That means I have x divided by 2. 10 minus 5 is 5. I'm going to multiply by 2 both sides. x is equal to 10. Now it just happens that the answer is the same, but it means something different. So when the equation equals 10, the x value has to be 10. You can also think of it as input output. This is our input. X is our input. This 10 right here is our output for y. Let's do two more, one more example, one of each. Again, this is our x value. This is our y value. y is 33. So we're going to rewrite this 3 minus 15x is equal to f of 33. Your x is now 33. So when you rewrite this, you're going to say 3 minus 15 times 33 is equal to f of 33. Don't do anything here. That Just copy it as many times as you need to. Don't touch that. On the other side, and I'm going to use a calculator for this, you're going to just type that into your calculator. So we have 3 minus 15 times 33. And that equals to negative 492. So when x is 33, the equation output is negative 492. Now this one, we're going to copy down the equation. So 3 minus 15x is equal to f of x. And instead of writing f of x, we're going to remove that and write 33. So this I'm going to remove. And I'm going to write 33. From here, we're going to solve the equation. So I have 3 and negative 15x equal to 33. So that means I'm going to subtract 3, subtract 3. So that means I have a negative 15x equals to 30. We're going to divide by negative 15, divide by negative 15. So 30 divided by negative 15, that equals to negative 2. 
So that means when the output, equation output, is 33, x has to be negative 2. All right, beautiful people, that is it. We will do many more examples. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!